We have a picture today also from, from Linda. Uh, Linda, this is a, a great picture you, you, you uh, have sent us here. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about it? Yes, Thomas. Yes, thank you. Uh, th this is a type of uh, Greek and Roman style uh, statue head. You can tell by the the intricate details of the headdress and the there's the band that's going around you can see it you know it should be going around the, the entire head and a little figurine there on the front side mm. is a uh, is a very uh, good sign of, of how the Greek and Romans uh, designed their headdresses and it could possibly have the piece broken off there at the front side uh slot martin uh told me earlier it looks like it's uh twisted around because mm. you can see where it's curved and uh you know believe that that's a piece that's broken off of the side there and uh and also uh it's just uh we were talking earlier also like last night that maybe the designs and the the type of headdresses they wore may have been designed by the rank that they held in their armies mm. and that was absolutely another thought of uh of their special detail you have you have a picture that, with, with 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 a, a body with the yes a yes yeah, thomas let's take a look at yes. that one Thank you. Here we have it. Yes, yeah, that that is the type of bar body armor mm. of uh, of some of them that's very like it's in adorned with gold. Actually, it is a very beautiful mm. armor that they they designed. It's a great, it's a great one. And you have another one also. Don't you, Thomas? Yeah, let, let's take uh, a look at the, the other one. Headdress. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. That is absolutely really beautiful also. The yeah, the, the detail. Cool. Yes, the details of the carving and uh, it's just uh, really just beautiful. They they adorn their, their headdresses and their armor and the special details that they did. Uh, what 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 is some of, of your thoughts on it, uh, Martin? Well, that that headdress definitely indicates how they they uh, they did decorate their armor with figures and flowers and um, sort of braids. Um, and as you say, it was probably an indication of the hierarchy and the position of the soldier. And also the yeah. gods, the statues of the gods were beautifully adorned, uh, and understandably so. Um, I remember looking at a, a statue of Mars, the statue of Mars, and he has the most amazing helmet. You know? Yes, so, yes. And, uh, but that... That certainly, you'll, you'll find, definitely indicates um, this type of statue and that uh, that kind of decoration. So, yes, it was go. like the God of War. The God of War is the one that you were uh, uh, That's right. yeah, speaking of. Yes. I think the, the ancient Greeks called, called the, what the Romans called Mars was Aris. I think you pronounced yes. like that. Yes. There's, there are even some statues showing the Greek god of Mars. Wonderful. Yes. yes. Mm. It's called Mars Aries, not Mars. It's hard yes. to get that We've got to make a show one day just about statues and we take all the statues we can okay. find in, in, in one combination. Yeah. That would be great. Yes. Yes. 
Uh, Billy, so, Billy, what, you what's, your, what's your thoughts on, on uh, Linda's picture? I tell you, when I first saw that uh, that picture, it was a mind blowing image for me. Um, I had seen a lot of things on Mars that made me go wow, but when I saw that, I was really shocked because of it, the apparent girth and size of it. It really stood out. Um, And you can really see the detail. And the first thing I noticed was the band that went all the way around the side of the head and down. And I was like, this is absolutely amazing. So I took it into Photoshop and I, I increased the DPI to 500 and I zoomed in and I saw like the little figurines and I was like, oh yes. my God. This thing is definitely <laughs> yeah. artistic. Yeah, it's a completely really? ordinary, completely artistic. And um, I, it was a shocker. And you know, it's uh, when I started googling different images uh, to see what it might be. You know, you know definitely Greco-Roman. Uh, you're talking from the Atlas Mountains to the Caucasus Mountains, which is obviously Caucasus, Caucasians, um, all the way into the Sudan. Actually, um, when there's rumors in ancient tablets that I've read, where uh, in the in that region the Anunnaki actually genetically modified, um, uh, you know, certain species of hominid in that area creating or, you know, di genetically diversifying the Caucasian uh, from other, uh, other uh, species of mankind. So it's very interesting. But that area was, uh, you know, ruled over by Caesar, uh, and they kind of really took over that whole entire region. But uh, the, the artwork and the, the artism, ar artism, I should say, that has carried on through that, and now to see it on Mars, it's like, wait a minute, this is actually stunning. Like, We have two concurrent Caesar-type civilizations running on two different planets. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. I, I mean, the whole world <laughs> needs to know about this. Yes, yes, they do. I mean, the news, <laughs> you would think it, w it would go, you know, newsworthy. It should be, you know, talked yeah. about. I, and think, I think this picture has been in, in various YouTube channels also, and... Yeah, I can see some of the those who have been using it uh, has been uh, photoshopped it a little bit, so it looks like yeah. something that it's not, <laughs> a, a, and, and that's yeah. a shame. But, but, but it, I think that. the yeah. message is that look at Mars, we have something here. Mm -hmm. So, so that's true. bottom line is the more it gets spread all over the, the net, the better. So we just oh, hope that oh, yes. people would would spread it as it is instead of manipulate uh, the Changing, picture or, the, yes. yeah, or change it. Yes. So yes, yes. Neville, wh what's your thought on it? Yeah, it actually it's uh, it's amazing, really. Um, I've brought it up and and enhanced it a bit, um, you can see. Yeah, actually, if you turn it on its side, you can see like a, a head on the side, mm. you know, coming up from the strap, um, mm -hmm. and I think ne near the eye where the round circle is coming down, it looks as if it could be another figure like um, on the side. It could be. There's not enough detail to actually see it, but you can see like the round part next to the eye and then something coming down. Um, it looks as if it could have once had arms on it, but it's really blurry like, so I'm not really going to say that it is. Um, it could have been. Um, saying that the other parts of it have, have really like um, have got things on them and stuff like that. The front could, front could have been the same. Um, I don't know, but you can see the helmet coming down over the the front of the eyes, down over the nose, and then um, near the chin part. I think part of it's broken off. Um, it's down on the ground next to it, um, but it's really amazing. Like really good find. It is. It, is. it is. Oh, thank it you, Neil. Yes. Martina, do you want to add more to it than you said before? No, I think that's. No. Um, it, that's. I think they've covered it all. It's um, the figurine is fascinating. I, you know, uh, the one coming down the side of the face on the jawline. It's yes. beautiful. Mm. It's yes. All, all we need to do is find a few temples now and columns. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> My thoughts on it is that this is uh, one of the greatest pictures that's, uh, and and it's uh, uh, one of those pictures who have most influence in mm -hmm. our future when we are trying yeah. to focus on existing or past civilizations on planet Mars. So so this is yeah. an awesome and it's a 
great picture. Uh, thank you, Linda, for oh, sharing you, that with us. It was great to see it and hear thank you talk about it. Thank you, Thomas. No, no problem. You're welcome. It's really amazing. Yeah. It was.